Hello there, I am Giant Grodel. Welcome to my first ever walk the guide that has a, that's like a redux. A redux basically means uh, a do-over, a second try, returning to it, like trying it again, attempting it again. And let me press start. Basically, I wanted to do Redux because I really love this game. It's actually my favorite Mario game now because I enjoyed doing it 100% and walk the guide in the past. And I admit the quality in the you know the quality of my voice and then the video itself was very poor up until like the f last couple parts I guess because that's when my quality started to actually get a little bit better. But yeah, I'm gonna start on file C. These two are just files, you know, because I played on them. And I'm going to try to do 120 stars again. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And I have a POG HD PVR. I record in 1920x1080p uh, HD, 60 frames per second. It's going to be a lot better this time. You know, in, in all different ways. It's going to be better quality. It's going to be probably better commentary. It's going to be better, you know, commentary and audio quality I don't know I'm just rambling right now so let's just, get, let's just go to my party let's go to Mario C serious speech well we're invited to hang out with Princess Peach that's so awesome how nice oh there's Lokitu He's just filming the whole castle. What is this MTV MTV uh, cribs or something? I mean, the castle is pretty nice. It has lots of room in it, lots of rooms, lots of paintings, if you know what I mean, and lots of secrets too. So why wouldn't you try to put that MT on MTV cribs? And oh look, it's a work pipe. It's Mario, a second time through the game. Let's go, Mario. Chow! You've reached Princess Stotzel's castle via a warp pipe. Use the controller, using the controller is a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read signs too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. A couple things you might be wondering. I'm playing with a Wii U Pro Classic controller. Pro controller. It looks like the Xbox control, Xbox 360 controller, you know, it's really nice. I'm not playing with the GameCube controller this time around. And the reason I'm doing that is because I actually, I actually bought um, Super Mario 64 for the Wii U on the eShop, and that's why I'm trying to like, well, it's it's a whole different game. As you see, my Troy Star file wasn't even there, because that file was on my Wii version for a virtual console back when I, had, back when, uh, I did on my Wii. But now I'm doing it on my Wii U, because, you know, quality. I'm up in the quality. But it still looks about the same from the Wii U and the Wii's perspective, if you play on the virtual console or the eShop version for the Wii U. But anyway, that's all said and done. Good afternoon, the Lakita Bros here, reporting live from just outside Princess Peach, uh, Princess, the Princess's Castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene, and we'll be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. Oh, they're missing. As seasoned cameramen, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons, or using the C stick for me. Well. The C stick is basically the control stick furthest to the right on the Pro Controller for the Wii U. Anyway, if you can't if we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz to take a look at the surroundings. Stop and press C up. Press A to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button. Si signs along the way may review. We'll review. Signs along the way will review these instructions. From now, for now, reporting live. This has been the Lokito Bros. I'm gonna try to read all the dialogue this time because I remember I didn't have a really good commentary when reading the dialogue the first time around. Oh my gosh, it's my first Redux, guys. My Redux is now here. Okay, welcome. No one's home now. Scram and don't come back. Gua ha ha. I must have gua ha ha. <laughs> so what you first want to do that. The, the only door that's open right now is this door right here, and by the way, here's Toad. It, every time you talk to him, he'll turn into like a ghost, but when you get near him, he'll, he'll be like physical and you can see him. Uh, like, you know, like not faded out. 
So yeah, the only door that's open is this one. Jump into the bob -omb painting, and let's get started. Big bob -omb on the summit. This is Course 1 bob -omb Battlefield. Let's do this. I'm actually not gonna... Okay. Wow. Sorry, that's... This, um... Kinda got my way. Anyway, I'll read this. Wow, you're stuck in the middle of the of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. Or worlds, sorry, worlds. First, talk to the bob -omb buddy. Press B to talk, of course. He'll, that's in parentheses. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. To be sent, stop, face them, and press B. Press A to, or B to scroll ahead. You can not You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing B. Now I won't read I won't read all the all the introductions to every new course we go into because they just tell you what little hidden stuff about or up they basically tell you what en enough to get started and actually I'm not doing the first star right now I'm actually doing the last star of this course first. Yeah, this chain chomp is gonna be a big pain. I missed it. I missed it again, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? I think I'll heal up. That's so embarrassing, guys. Ah, I stink at this game. <laughs> Matt, Matt Pistolard even told me, like, how did you get 100% of this game? Because, like, those two files, that one file out of 11 stars, ha it was like, I p just played on that file, and, like, he's like, I kept on dying a lot of s easy stars or something. So, yeah. If I can get the right angle with this guy. Dang it. Okay, get out of the way, get out of the way, Mario, get out of the way. Okay, phew. So I got two, I got two grand pounds on that spoke. You have to have three grand pounds, though. So, you know, just so you know. There we go. That's good enough. I don't need to be full healed. If you guys want to see a trick, I can possibly pull it off. I can't pull it off now because I messed up. Okay. I was going to throw the bob bomb. Dang it. Let me get that red coin. Come on, Mario. You can do better than that. Okay. Okay, cool. I was going to throw the bob bomb right at the chain shop so it could like fly a little bit and land on a spoke. I have to be really careful with this guy. So don't take him lightly. He can do a lot of damage. Wow, I didn't get hit there. But after three ground pounds on the spoke, this chain chomp will be free. He'll like run around for a little bit and then crash the gate where the star is blocked or where the star was blocked by if I said that right. And go over there. And let's grab the star. So there's our first power star. Only 119 more to go, guys. Aren't you guys like so excited? I actually am. This is, as I said, this is my, my my new favorite Mario game of like all time, to be honest. So yeah, this basically says, oh, you get one star now. You can go to the door that has a number one on it, I believe, and say that in the one that has Wump's fortress in it is now locked. Yeah. So now it's to actually take down King Babam. So let's just get it there as fast as we can. Oh wow, <laughs> that was cool. I was trying to long jump there, but it turned out differently. Aw, oh, dang it, I, I tried to like, do that all in one jump. Okay, I'm, I'm failing at this. I'm stuck in these controls on the Pro Controller. Okay, right here is actually a shortcut. It'll actually teleport us all the way to the top. You see, you'll see Big Bomb up there. If I can show him. Oh, uh, let me get a better angle. He's like right up there. You can see his mustache and all that. But I'm gonna actually show you guys the whole, the whole way up to the, uh, whole the way, all the way up on, without knowing that secret. Basically, I'm gonna show you all the ways you can, uh, the whole way you can go up without using the secret. But you can if you want. 
Here's a glitch that Ultraman Brion earned. I, uh, he changes his name so much. He was Ultraman Brion 1, and then he was Somber Variable, then he was Pissoid. I was like, come on, man. Anyway, that was a glitch right there. You saw that Bob Bomb just walking in midair. He showed me that glitch. So kudos to Matt. Pissoid for showing me that. I have to give him credit for that, because cause it's the right thing to do. Anyway, let's just go around here, and let's just... Okay, this is way too high. I have to go around a little bit more. I was gonna like backflip, jump onto the top of the mountain. There we go. I'm the Babam Lord of all blasting matters. King of the Kabooms the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my Imperial mountaintop? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never es you'll never escape my grasp, and you'll never take. The anyway, my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star, I hold. You must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to the world turf? I think that you, that you cannot. Okay, so this guy's very cocky or something. He's like a king of all kings are kind of cocky like that. So it's okay. So if I grab, if I can grab him, if you throw him over like this, then he said it won't count and stuff. Well, like, it won't count, of course, and they'll say, like, I'll say this. You must fight with honor. It is against the royal rules to throw the king off out of the ring. And that rhymed. So, that even if you have two two um, hits on him, or two throws on him, and you do that, it's going to reset out back to zero, and you have to start the battle all over and do that three times without throwing him over. So keep that in mind. I'm going to, like, backflip jump over him like that, so I can grab him, and then throw him again. And then, this is a bad angle, I can't see, there we go, that's actually better. And there we go, that's three. Wow, what? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the Babam King? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll never have the, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Me thinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your star, as I promised Mario. If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu. For now, farewell. There we go. Let's go grab our power star. And I won't be saying star power every time I get this new star, because, I mean, it's really not necessary. I already did it once. I already did this walkthrough guide once, so I can just take it slow this time. I can run at my own pace. I'm kind of just going with the flow with everything, too. So there's a second power star. So let's jump in again. And this time, we're going to hit... We're going to show foot race with the quick. And by the way, while we're here, we can actually unlock the cannon, too. We're peace-loving Bavam, so we don't use cannons. But if you like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll put all the cannons in this course for you to use. On for Edge. And as you see right there, the cannons unlock, and it's awesome. So let's just talk to Bavam beneath the unlock it, and he'll unlock all the cannons in the course. Yeah. It's just basic tutorial stuff. I'm sorry I skipped over that little bit of dialogue. Anyway, here's Cooper the Quick. Hey, Mario, is it true that you beat the big Babam? Cool. You must be pretty. You must be strong and pretty fast. So how how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me, Cooper the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the top of the mountain top, where the Babam was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Go. Ready? Go. I don't know. I read that wrong. I read, I read that backwards actually. So. Apparently, you'll be disqualified and caught cheating if you use the cannons. Which makes sense, because there's this cannon up here that's really close to the mountain up. You can just splash yourself up the mountain up. But, like, you don't, you don't get penalized if you use the shortcut. And, I'll show you. I already showed the shortcut. It's in that, it's like in the side, it's a hole inside the mountain, basically. That teleports you to different spots. But, you know, I'm gonna you know, try to challenge myself and not use even the teleportation thing that, a shortcut that won't count for cheating. Because I want to challenge myself and see what time I get. I, I, I'm not going for, I'm not going as fast as I can, but I probably am, I'm giving a good effort. Like, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. There we go, I made it. So just come around this mountain, and if you use the can, or the, the shortcut, like I said earlier, like two seconds ago, 
you'll pop up right here, which is actually a big lead, but like I'm gonna actually take it all the way to the top. I'm not even gonna jump to like the what I can like right now. I'm going all out, baby. There we go. I made it in a minute and eight seconds in five nanoseconds or milliseconds, however you want to say it. Let me climb the pole of victory, do a handstand on it, and jump off. And I didn't take any damage, because I pressed the ground pound button or a little bit like that. Let me try that again, see if I can do that again. I'm going to climb it, I'm going to do a handstand, I'm going to jump off it, and then, oh wait, you're right there. Okay, huff, puff. Whoa, you really are fast, a human blur. Here you go, you've won the it's fair and square. And he gives you a power shot that comes from his butt. Oh, I, I don't want to know where that's been, but I think I already know where it's been. Thank you, Cooper the Click. Yeah, there we go. Three power stars. I think that's enough for this part of my Super Mario 64 Redux walkthrough guide. Walkthrough guide Redux? I don't know. Redux walkthrough guide. Yeah, that sounds better. So I'm going to save and continue. And we've received three power stars. Now we can go up to Peach's room, which is on the top floor of this main part of the castle. Which actually I'll show real quick just so you guys know, even though you probably already know, but just for the just for the little tykes that have never played this game before. And I don't blame you, I mean I, I didn't start playing this game till I was about probably nine or ten. I mean that's still pretty young, but like here's the room. And I, it's actually the room with the star on it. Or the one on it, my bad. I got the room mixed up with the Lumps Fortress's room. So you go in here and there's Peach's bedroom, which I'll get to later. And also another another door you can unlock is this one, which also has a, one, a star that has a one on it. So that's pretty cool. I was I was like not wrong then, because both of them have a star that's number one on. And then you can there's one fortress right there, but we'll get to that later. Because so I'm gonna do a little bit more in Bob on Balfour, and then go to Wamp's fortress, and then see where it goes from there. So this has been the end of my Super Mario 64 walkthrough guide Redux, and I also hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this Majanko again. I'd like to mention again, goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Super Mario 64 Redux walkthrough guide.